Do you have a mosaic multicolor material machine? If so, keep watching because I have quite an experience with them so far, both positive and negative. So you just got your new Palette 2 or 2S or 2 Pro or 2S Pro and whichever one of these machines you have, this video will most likely apply. Personally, I have the Palette 2S Pro. It's actually currently printing right now. And when I took it out of the box, I was so happy to open it, as most of you probably were as well. I then attempted to start a print, and this print unfortunately did fail along with many others that followed. Although I cannot specify all the tiny reasons for many failures, I can explain what caused them. It's technically the same thing. And there is a simple answer to that, and they are non-specific instructions given in the box. For beginners, it is probably not excellent to get the palette. I would start off 3D printing regularly with single material, but for uh, ex or not experts, I guess, advanced uh, 3D printers and makers would probably get the palette if they want to start multi-material. So the instructions provided within the box are not really detailed at all. They just you sell it there. Tell you how to take it out of the box, how to assemble it, put it to your printer, and that's it. I know that everyone may have a different printer, but the instructions should have some sort of tutorial about calibration. There was nothing really specified about that. I actually ended up uh, not updating my firmware correctly, actually not updating it at all because the instructions weren't as specific. I also wasn't able to calibrate the palette uh, and its slice settings before the first few prints. And this is probably what caused some of my issues. I really didn't know anything about the machine at the very beginning. So was the palette really worth it? In my opinion, yes. I think that the Palette 2 and 2S series and pros are a great deal, even though they are in the premium area in terms of price. After properly reading the tutorials online, I managed to update the palette to the latest firmware, calibrate its slice settings for my filament, and calibrate the palette itself with my Prusa i3 Mark III S, so that it could work normally. Although I am still getting some ping issues, uh, I, right now I'm much better as I did just do some more uh, modifications, but as I'm still getting those issues, I... Um, I'm contacting support about that, but the prints are coming out normal, uh, and yeah, like I said, I'm still working with support to get the issue fixed. Otherwise, the Palette 2 is probably one of the best multi-material machines on the market. Um, I can clearly say that I have had much more luck with the Palette rather than the Prusa MMU-2S. If you want to check out my Prusa MMU-2S video, it's one of my most recent videos I made on 3D Printing Dork's channel, so make sure you subscribe and take a look at that video as well, as uh, it's starting, starting to get popular and uh, Prusa MMU-2S is pretty bad. Uh, I'm also aware that this guy does not go into crazy troubleshooting in detail, and I recommend everyone with a new pallet machine to, as of now, read the tutorials on Mosaic's website and do all the calibration and tuning as soon as possible. I hope to not keep you all waiting as I am going to release some more in-depth videos on troubleshooting specific problems I had and potentially some that others had, like you, with the palette shortly. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.